Hey, so the Bears, Mr. Hanson back for the next math video, math video for you. This is COVID edition. Today we're talking about percent of change. All right, so the percent of change can be an increase or decrease. The percent that a quantity changes from the original amount may be an increase or decrease. And we're going to use our percent proportion, where it's the part over the whole equals the percent out of 100 to solve these problems. Now, the part is going to be represented by the amount of change, which is always a positive value. And the whole is going to be the original amount, which is the first amount in the problem. Now, sometimes we'll get the percent of change, sometimes we'll have to find it, and we'll have to cross, multiply, and divide to do so. All right? So, <clears throat> the amount of change is going to be equal to the difference in the new and the original amount. So we're going to get a, a new amount and an original amount. We subtract those to find the amount of change. <clears throat> we're also going to be talking about percent error. The percent error is basically the same thing as percent of change, only the percent error is the percent that an estimated quantity differs from its actual amount. So again, instead of amount of change, it's amount of error, which is again always positive, over the actual amount, which is our whole amount. Okay, so let's get to some examples here. First example, 12 inches to 36. The first value here, 12 inches, that's gonna represent the original amount, okay? So this is the original, the first number is the original. And now it went to 36 inches, that's my new amount. So the first step to solve this is I need to subtract 36 by 12 in order to find a missing value. All right, so 36 by 12 is 24. So 24 is the change, the amount of change. So now I can set up my percent proportion where I have 24 over the original amount, which is 12 inches, equal to whatever the percent is going to be out of 100. All right, so now I'm going to cross multiply 24 by 100 and then I'm going to divide it by 12. Now if you're with Mrs. Sherrard and you have her for class, she sets it up where this would be x and you cross multiply both ways and set up an equation. Essentially I'm doing the same thing, I'm just kind of shortcutting it. So 24 is going to be multiplied by 12, then, or excuse me, 24 multiplied by 100, then divided by 12. All right, so 24 times 100 is 2,400, and then I would divide that by 12, giving me 200% change, which is an increase. Now, I know it's an increase because if I looked at the original amount to the new amount, it went up. So that's how I tell if it's an increase or decrease. Increase is if it goes up decrease as if it goes down. Second example, 75 people to 25 people. So the first is always the original amount. The second is always the new. Now since my amount of change has to be positive, I'm gonna subtract the larger by the smaller every single time. So 75 take away 25 gives me a change of 50. So now I can set up my percent proportion of 50 which is the change over the original, set that equal to, we'll call that X over 100. Now, if you're in again to Mr. Arts class, I'll solve it this way now, where I'm gonna multiply diagonally across for both. So that gives me 75X is equal to 50 times 100 is 5,000. Now I need to divide by 75 to both sides, okay? 